So before I get into this video, I just want to say everything that has led up to this point, everything that has led up to where I am now, even me being at the University of Lusaka, is all thanks to God. Like, I wouldn't have been where I am right now without the help of God, without God's blessings upon my life every single day. So, um, if you're in university, please cherish that and always thank God for it because not many people have the opportunity of actually being in a university. So, yeah. And it goes a little yeah. something like... and if you're new hi welcome aboard so in today's video i'm gonna be telling you guys what how you know where and what all led up to me choosing to go to the university of lusaka okay so first of all let me just say something real quick <laughs> When I was in high school, I always wanted to go to Texila University. If some of my friends can remember, if you guys are watching this, shout out to you guys. So I always used to talk about going to Texila American University all the time, bro. Everyone at home knew that I wanted to go to Texila. My dad knew, I told my dad everything. That was like in grade 11, going to grade 12. Yeah, so grade 11, grade 12. I was 2019 and 2020. Yeah, I always used to talk about going to Texila American University. Yeah, that's the name. Mm -hmm. Texila University all the time. Literally, everyone used to know that every time we'll have a discussion about universities, I'm going to bring up Texila University. So I was really, 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 really wanted to go to Texila University. So um, I did my research. I used to do my research on Texila University. I saw a lot of things. I saw the fees. I saw. I literally used to research about Texila University every time I get data on my phone. I did that for like two years straight, grade 11, grade 12, all the time I would always, bro, my mind was set that I wanted to go to Texila University. <laughs> so yeah, um, moving on, after I wrote my grade 12 exams, yeah, I worked really hard for those. I remember studying really, really, really hard. I worked, yo. The last time I remember working very hard on an exam, bro, that was like my grade 12 exam. So for all of you guys who do not know how the grade 12 exams are done here in Zambia, if you're an international student or, you know, just not from Zambia. So what happens is that if you write your grade 12 exams, you, you know, you get to write like uh, an exam that everyone in the whole country is writing. Yeah. So after that, the results are out and then the highest being or the highest getting six points and then from six points going all the way down to whatever points so yeah so the highest you can get in zambia is six points mm -hmm. then going down 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 all the way seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and so on and so forth so that being said after i wrote my exams i got seven points so after i got my seven points i told my dad i was like dad yeah, I want to go to university, I want to do... My dad actually asked me after I got my results. He told me, what do you want to do? What program do you want to do? Because I remember back in high school, my dad told me that if you do very well in your grade 12 exams, you will do whatever course you want to do yourself and stuff. So I love that about my dad. So yeah, he told. He asked me, he was like, okay, what course do you want to do? I was like, hmm, I want to do medicine. I've literally been talking about doing medicine since forever i've been talking about it i've been telling you about it now i've been telling you i want to go to this university Texila, at that time but at that time i never used to talk about it that much so yeah <laughs> yeah so my dad told me okay cool do your research find some universities that you would like to go to and whatever so i told myself i did my research on levy monawasa because i saw a program on ZNBC where they were showing um you know, the teaching hospital, the Levi Manawasa teaching hospital, and it looked very nice. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go to Levi Manawasa University, yeah? And that was like early last year. Yeah, early last year, after the results were out in February. That was like in March, somewhere like there. That's why I was making these decisions. <laughs> so yeah, I looked up Levi. I saw that no, they do not have July intake. Yeah, I don't know about now, but then when I was trying to apply, they told me that they do not have July intake. And I wanted to go to school in July. So I 
I then moved to Cavendish. I was like, okay, let me try Cavendish. Cavendish did have July intake. Yeah, I think it did and stuff so i was gonna tell myself okay i might apply to cavendish university i was getting ready to apply and whatever i went on their website downloaded the application form and told my dad to print it out so right before i could apply a friend of mine jackson if you're watching this shout out to you so a friend of mine jackson told me just come to unilas i was like what's unilas i literally didn't know anything about unilas i didn't even know that unilas existed <laughs> But yeah, he was like, okay, come to Unilas. Unilas is a very good university. Like the infrastructure is amazing. Everything is amazing. I'm like, uh, what's Unilas? Like, what's that and stuff? So he sent me pictures of the university and I was like, oh my goodness, this is my calling. <laughs> I'm going to Unilas <laughs> and stuff. So I was like, wow, it's so amazing. I was so shocked at how beautiful it looked as though, as though it wasn't even in Zambia. That's how beautiful it looked to me. <laughs> and stuff. So I was like, I told my dad, I was like, Dad, actually, Unilas is a very good university. Look at these pictures. My friend Jackson sent me these pictures. Look at them, look at them, look at them, and whatever. And then my dad I was like, okay, go on the website, download the application form, look at everything that is required, and then you can tell me about it and stuff. So I went on the website, looked it up, looked up Unilas, downloaded the application form, and then I downloaded it. Gave it to my dad to print it out and he did that. So while I was doing that, I was doing a lot of research on, you know, the University of Lusaka. I was doing a lot of um, research on how it looks like. I went on YouTube. I discovered some YouTubers like Sharon Peary. I discovered like, um, yeah, actually Sharon Peary. <laughs> I actually started watching all of her videos like, yo, and stuff because like she would always talk about unilas and stuff and i was I, I knew that i was gonna go to unilas so yeah so moving forward after my dad printed out there is the application form i applied um went and did all the papers the certifications the everything that was required for me to apply to university and i sent the application form via fedex yeah fedex I'm sure all of you, most of you guys know FedEx, so yeah. I sent it there, that was like on a Monday. I sent it, I, t I went to FedEx and took my application form there in an envelope and everything, wrote the address and everything. And I said, I gave it to them and I was like, okay, please take this to the University of Osaka and whatever, whatever, whatever. So they told me that, oh, okay, cool. We will send, I think it will arrive by Wednesday and that was Monday. So she told me that, the lady there told me that it will arrive on Wednesday and stuff so yeah that's how it arrived on wednesday and then on friday i got a text from a number <laughs> that said oh you've been accepted to the university of Osaka and whatever but i was like eh, what if it's fake like what's this number that's texting me and stuff but i didn't check my emails so i went on my email and i found out that they actually sent me a whole letter of like accepting me to the university of Osaka. It's, i, I gave it to my dad and everything was all good i was so excited i was so happy and so on and so forth so yeah that is how i found myself at the university of lusaka and everything that happened <laughs> yeah this is not a really detailed video but like yeah those are you know what happened basically that's what happened so yeah afterwards i actually even went to lusaka i mean that was i applied in around march for july intake so yeah um it first started with online lessons and then a little bit of physical classes because there was covid so that was the time of covid so yeah mm -hmm. i didn't take a gap year after i completed my grade 12 no immediately after i completed my grade 12 the next year in july i went to university yeah so if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new bye